Hey everybody, welcome to GLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block and I'm here today to give you guys an outlook on Liverpool's remaining fixtures for the rest of the season. Now before I get into the fixtures themselves, I just want to give sort of a perspective or provide some context to what I'm about to say. So I look back at the average point totals for the past five seasons for the fourth, fifth, and sixth place finishers in the Premier League. Now the average fourth place finisher um, averaged 71 points, fifth place was 64 points, and 6th place was 62 points. Now currently Liverpool are on 39 points with 11 matches to play, meaning that there are 33 points left to play for, and for Liverpool to get to that 62 point average or threshold, they'd have to um, get 23 points out of the remaining 33 left. So again, 62 points, that equals 6th place on average the past 5 seasons. That's by no means, you know, an ultra scientific mark, but um, Given recent history in the Premier League, it's a pretty good indication or pretty good marker for Liverpool, or should I say goal for Liverpool to strive for, for the remaining um, 11 fixtures they have. Now currently Everton are actually in 6th place, um, Liverpool are in 8th place, West Brom are in 7th, but Liverpool only 3 points behind Everton, Liverpool get to play Everton at home on May 4th, and Liverpool have the advantage in goal dif difference um, as of today. And out of those 11 matches left to play, it's a very easy schedule, only 3 of those matches are actually against teams currently in the top 10, and all 3 of those matches against those top 10 teams um, happen at Anfield, so Liverpool have the advantage there, those 3 teams being Everton, who Liverpool should have beaten earlier um, if it wasn't for a bad call by the linesman at the last moment. Um, Tottenham, who Liverpool I think can really play with, they've definitely played with them in the first match, and against Chelsea, um, against the match at Stamford Bridge, I think Liverpool were honestly lucky to survive there with a point, but um, given that it's Rafa's return to Anfield and the fact that Liverpool have improved their squad, who knows. Now I'm just going to read off the remaining fixture lists to give you guys an idea of how easy this schedule is on the rest of the way. Now, Liverpool have, as you can see on your screen, Liverpool play Wigan at the DW this weekend, then they go back to Anfield to play Hots the Tottenham Hotspur, then uh, Liverpool of Southampton at St. Mary's, then Aston Villa at Villa Park, then they go back to Anfield against West Ham, then they travel to Reading, then Liverpool get Chelsea, again Rafa's return to Anfield, then they travel to St. James Park and play Newcastle, then Liverpool at Everton, Derby Day, May 4th at Anfield, then they travel to Craven Cottage to play Fulham, and then they finish off the season against QPR. Um, at Anfield and what could be QPR's doom day. Just it wouldn't it be nice to down QPR at Anfield on the last day of the season. Now seeing how Liverpool are on 39 points, they need to get 23 points the rest of the way to get to that 62 point mark that I stated earlier. Now this can come in two ways to me. Liverpool could go undefeated for the rest of the season. They could manage six wins, um, five draws and no losses, but seeing how this has been a Liverpool season where they take one step forward, two steps back, a step to the side, been so inconsistent, I just can't see Liverpool, or at least this Liverpool team, going undefeated the rest of the season and finishing with six wins, um, five draws, and no losses. I think a more realistic goal for Liverpool would be seven wins, um, two draws, and four losses. Now, both of those scenarios would put Liverpool on 23 points. And seeing how, like I said, I don't think Liverpool are going to go undefeated the rest of the season. They have to win seven games if they want to possibly get to 23 points to finish for that sixth spot. And given the very easy schedule that I just listed out, I do think that this is, this is completely possible. Um, if there's ever a chance for Liverpool to make a run and find some consistency, it is now. Now, looking at the players that Liverpool have at their disposal, this is definitely possible. We've all seen how much better Liverpool are with Daniel Sturridge playing as a central striker. Um, he completely changes the, the way the side operates from defense going into attack. Coutinho offers the vision, trickery, and pace that Liverpool just simply haven't had from the wings or from midfield in previous seasons. Barring no catastrophic injuries to Agger or Lucas or Gerrard or Suarez or Sturridge or any of the key players of Liverpool, I do think this is a really possibility. This is the best. Liverpool team they've had all season long and if there's ever time for them to make a run and finish with enough points to topple Everton and get in sixth spot it is now with this easy schedule all these favorable home matches and the strong squad they have currently and like I said earlier the fifth place finisher averages 64 points the sixth place finisher has averaged 62 points so honestly when they're that close um, there's not much you know there's some room for error right there Liverpool can get to seven wins um, that puts them in a good position to finish at sixth spot and seeing how um, on average the fifth place finisher doesn't finish that much higher above in the table um, fifth place could even be a possibility for Liverpool. I'm completely rolling, ruling out uh, fourth place at this point. Um, the average fourth place finisher is 71 points, Liverpool on 39. They basically have to win all 11 games to even be in consideration for that spot. And looking at the table, how far Liverpool are behind in terms of points um, with the fourth place uh, team right now, 
I don't think that'll happen. It's also worth mentioning that a theoretical 62-point season would actually be Liverpool's highest point total since Rafa left after the 2009-2010 season, and 62 points would be a full 10 point better um, than Kenny Farid last season. He had 52 points last season. So 62 point season, that would be massive, massive, massive improvement on last year. And it really shows the strides that Brendan Rodgers has made. And the fact that this would probably be the Liverpool's best side since Rafa left. So that's all for today of JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block. I do think that sixth place is a surefire thing for Liverpool. And I do think that the key player to all this, again, will be Daniel Sturridge. He's completely different. Liverpool is completely different with, um, with him in the side. I think if he gets double-digit goals between now and the end of the season, he's currently on four goals right now. Liverpool get those seven wins and get six spot and um, finish above Everton. And honestly, a season where you can finish above Everton with the ups and downs that Liverpool have had, that's a big success for me um, and a top-flight first year for Brendan Rodgers uh, indeed. So in the comments down below, um, give me your thoughts on how you think Liverpool will finish the rest of the season and who is the one key player that can make this all come together for Liverpool. Tell me in the comments down below. Have a good week, guys. YNWA.